okay, yeah. we will find the solution for uh, problem 2.2 and 2.3 of the Griffith uh, third edition introduction to quantum mechanics. Uh, this uh, first we will see the problem uh, 2.22. Uh, the problem is evaluate the following integral. So there are three integrals are given. This is related to uh, Dirac delta function. The fourth problem related to Dirac delta function. Uh, now uh, we will solve one by one. We know uh, from the Dirac delta function property, f of x is equal to f, uh, integral of f of x into delta x minus a is equal to f of a. Uh, that is, uh, uh, this integration is valid only if uh, delta argument of delta is 0. That is, x is equal to uh, a. So, and in that case only this set delta function is 0. So, you will get this uh, integral value is. So, it is equal to f of a. Based on this relation, we will find the solve the one by one integration. Uh, first, uh, we will take the a uh, part a. So this is our uh, integration. Uh, so here uh, you can see this will be zero only x is equal to minus two. So f of minus two is equal to here x, uh, x cube of uh, minus 2 is minus 8 and the x squared is um, of minus 2 is plus 4 into 3 here 1 minus so minus 12 similarly 2x uh, x is minus 2 so this will be minus 4 already there is minus 1 so the result of this integration is uh, minus 25 you can see this integration range uh, from uh, 1 to minus 3. So this minus 2 is within the range. That also we have to take care. Next integration is uh, integral 0 to infinite uh, uh, cos 3x plus 2 x minus 5. Uh, so uh, here also uh, you apply the same logic. f of i is equal to cos 3 pi, cos 3 pi is minus 1, uh, this uh, there is plus 2 here, plus 2, uh, which will be equal to 1. Uh, then uh, this uh, third one, we will go to the third one. You can see this will be 0 when only when x is equal to 2. So here integration is between minus 1 to plus 1. So uh, this integration is out of range. Uh, so uh, you cannot uh, solve this one. So uh, we have fi find the solution for problem 2.22. Then we'll, we will move on to 2.23. Uh, problem uh, 2.23 is the delta functions live under the integral sign and two expressions uh, t1 of x and t2 of x involving delta function are said to be equal if integral between minus infinite plus infinite uh, f of x t1 x tx is equal to integral f of uh, integral between minus infinite to plus infinite f of x uh, t2 x tx for every function that is every ordinary function of f of x. Uh, there are two parts in it. We will solve one by one. Part A is uh, so that delta of uh, Cx is equal to 1 over modulus C delta x, where C is a real constant. Uh, P is here to check the case where C is negative. So additionally, we have to do this also. First, we will prove this relation that is delta of cx is equal to 1 over modulus c uh, delta x. For that, you take the basic definition of uh, delta function definition, uh, integration. That is integral between minus infinite to plus infinite f of x delta x minus x dx is equal to f of a. This is the definition. Uh, now, uh, in 
instead of delta x minus a, you take delta cx. Uh, so, cx dx. Then what will happen? Now you take this uh, cx as y. So, uh, then what will happen? y equal to cx. Then x is equal to you bring this c uh, here, the left hand side. Uh, so, y by c. x is equal to y by c. dx is equal to 1 over c dy. Uh, substitute all these things here. So, this x will become y by c as uh, mentioned here and uh, this uh, cx will become y and uh, dx become 1 over c dy. 1 over c is a constant I am taking out and dy. Now, uh, this can be written as y plus uh, 0. That is uh, here a is equal to 0. Uh, so, if, uh, for uh, delta 0, this must be, this uh, integral must be equal to f of 0. Uh, so, uh, naturally, this one, uh, we have just changed the label, nothing more than that. So, uh, this integral minus infinite to plus infinite, f of x delta cx dx is equal to 1 over c f of 0. Now we will ch check the other thing. Uh, what will happen if uh, C is negative? Now the same problem, but uh, we have changed the integral limit from minus infinite to plus infinite. We have changed plus infinite to minus infinite. F of x uh, delta Cx uh, dx. If we apply the same procedure, uh, uh, as we have done in the case of uh, plus uh, minus infinite to plus infinite. Uh, only thing is, uh, this will become, if you change the limit minus infinite to plus infinite, uh, then this integral will become minus because we are changing the limit, interchanging the limit. Naturally, one minus will come. Minus 1 over c, uh, f of y c uh, and delta y, dy is equal to minus 1 over c f of 0. So, uh, in both cases, uh, whether uh, it is uh, minus infinite to plus infinite or plus infinite to minus infinite, uh, you will get uh, modulus c. Modulus c means whether even if it is minus, you will get uh, plus. Uh, so, uh, the general uh, relation is delta cx is equal to 1 over modulus c delta x. Hence, we have proved the part A. Uh, the, now, we will go for part B. Part B is let the theta of x be the step function. That is uh, delta uh, of x is equal to 1. Uh, in the positive x-axis and it is zero in the negative x-axis. In rare case where it is actually matter, we define uh, uh, theta zero to be off. So that uh, uh, theta, uh, t theta over dx is equal to delta x. Uh, we know by the person uh, integral over minus infinite uh, to plus infinite f of x delta, d, delta x dx as given in the pro problem. Uh, here we are replacing because we have to show delta uh, dt over dx is uh, delta x. So uh, we have replaced uh, here uh, delta x instead of delta x we replaced the uh, uh, partial derivative of delta t with delta x, both must be equal to f of 0. At the beginning of the problem, it is clearly given that a delta function live under integral sign and two expression t1 uh, of x and t2 of x involving delta function are said to be equal if uh, this two integral uh, for an ordinary uh, function f of x. So here we can uh, say this uh, theta 1 is uh, delta x and uh, theta 2 is uh, partial derivative of delta t with delta x. We are going to prove this now.
first uh, i will explain this uh, step function using this small diagram uh, that is uh, uh, this is the x axis so y axis is theta which is a function of h uh, when x is equal to 0 there is a jump there is a discontinuity uh, in the negative x axis when theta is less than uh, 0 it is 0 when theta is greater than 0, then it will be 1. This is the uh, step function, you know it very well. Now our aim is we have to prove that, uh, you know, integral between minus infinite to plus infinite, uh, f of x delta x dx is equal to uh, integral uh, over minus infinite to plus infinite f of, f of x uh, pa, uh, pa, uh, delta t, uh, theta over delta x dx must be equal to f of 0. So, uh, this is uh, no problem. Left hand side already we have proved you. Now you take the right hand side. That is minus infinite to plus infinite. Uh, f of x uh, del, uh, delta theta over delta x into dx is equal to uh, now use uh, uv in integral that is uh, v this is u dv so v is the theta u is f of x so uh, then uh, you can apply the integral rule this will become uv u is f of x v is theta and apply the limit between minus infinite to plus infinite minus uh, my uh, integral between minus infinite to plus infinite uh, this is v du v is a theta du is a prime of x uh, t, uh, dx now this in the first term you apply the limit uh, when for uh, um, um, upper limit uh, this theta will be 1 so uh, this is uh, yeah, x is, uh, uh, this will become f of alpha. For lower limit, uh, this theta is 0, so you can ignore only upper limit exists. So I have used only uh, f of infinite minus this integral, second part of the integral. Uh, minus uh, minus in, uh, integral between minus infinite uh, to instead of plus in infinite, I am separating this into two parts. One is minus infinite to 0, then uh, 0 to uh, infinite. Uh, here it is negative axis, remember that. This is between 0 to minus infinite. In this region, this uh, theta value will be 0. That is, uh, theta is 0, so it, this entire integral will go away. So you can uh, cancel this second part. Then uh, you take only third part. So I have taken only third part, f of infinite, as, I mean third term. So f of infinite minus the integral between 0 to infinite, uh, theta, uh, f prime x, dx. Here, very uh, interestingly, between 0 to infinite, this theta value is 1. This uh, theta value is 1. So uh, you, 1 multiplied by this f prime of x. If you integrate the f prime, you will get f of x naturally. Uh, so limit, you have to apply the limit between 0 to infinite. So if you apply upper limit, this is a, uh, uh, f of uh, infinite. And lower limit, lower limit you have to take, already there is minus, then minus f of 0. Uh, uh, because in the past we axis it is uh, theta is 1 so this will become f of, uh, f of infinite uh, lower, when you apply lower limit uh, this is plus minus of minus will become plus plus f of 0 so here this first two term will get cancelled that is uh, this term and this term will get cancelled so uh, only this f of 0 you will have only f of 0. So, the uh, right hand side of the integral also f of 0, like uh, left hand side. Uh, 
So uh, now we have shown that the integral between minus infinite to plus infinite f of x delta theta over delta x dx is equal to f of 0. And we have already proved that uh, the integral between minus infinite to plus infinite f of x delta x dx is equal to f of 0. So both are same. Uh, that is this function. Uh, delta theta over delta tx uh, uh, is equal to delta x. So we have prov proven the second one also. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.